AI is fundamentally reshaping how we think about education. So we have been building something interesting with AI at Fermion. That is the ability to create contests, but also assess them with AI. Now, one of the things where AI is extremely good and where the highest ROI is, I feel, is automating away work that traditionally required human. So this is one of the examples that I'm gonna show you, which is extremely cool, extremely good, and it's implemented fully inside Fermion. So a bit about Fermion, it's a white labeled platform, it's a white labeled SaaS product, which allows you to start your own online academy, right? So if you are a coding bootcamp or generally somebody who's teaching people something in education, you can use Fermion to fully host an online academy under your own branding. It comes with a lot of tools, including the one which I'm talking about now, which is assessments, contest, including AI. So let me show you how this works. So let's say I create this assessment over here, which is I'm naming it as my scholarship test, nothing else. I can go into the configuration tab, enable a start time and an end time. Let's say I just enable it to be available right now. And I can define these proctoring constraints. So this is something which is interesting and which is important for AI to function properly, right? So over here, what we are trying to do is we are restricting a few of these criteria, which are, you know, you have to stay full screen, you have to not change your tab, you don't have to do copy pasting and so on. But this is where AI angle comes in, where we can screen record your screen as well as record your camera during the attempt. Now what you can do, if you have like API credits to do this interesting stuff, is that you can do this on real time also, but we don't do this on real time, we will do this after the attempt. But what you can do is analyze these recordings frame by frame, right? So I'm gonna discuss a little bit about this architecture in general, but let me just quickly show you how this actually works. So when I save changes over here, and let's say if I publish this contest and visit this link, I would be able to attempt this contest as a student. So let me go ahead and start this and there is no published contest item. Okay, we have to create something over here. So it can be like just a bunch of quizzes or it could be a few coding labs as well. Let me just add one coding lab as well. So I will add this, I will publish this. Let me resume my attempt now, hopefully this works. And you can see now that we require you to enable screen sharing, camera and microphone and full screen mode, right? For now, I will just disable this, okay, might as well just let's just keep everything enabled so i'll enable full screen i will enable screen sharing over here and i will enable camera and microphone and i have to enable full screen again because well that did not clearly work so over here as a student now i'm supposed to complete this exam right so i have a bunch of questions i just added a bunch of just two questions over here but you could have like many questions right if you're preparing for some sort of interview exam je or uh, bitsat or any of these interview exams or even you know coding specific questions if you want to mix and match dsa questions with other things so your institute if it's using a platform like this you will be able to give these exams over here you will be able to submit your attempts get the results back and once you are done with the attempt, once you are ready with satisfied with what you have done so far, you would go ahead and submit and end the attempt, right? You can see that right now screen share and camera microphone are active. So it's actually recording what am I doing? What am I saying? All of that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and submit and end this attempt. I will submit this and I have a report page which would include all of my statistics. Now I'm not going to show you the report page because there is nothing to see right now. But this is basically a very simple way of implementing this on a product side. Now let me show you how this works internally on the tech side. So from a tech point of view, this is all we have to do. So first things first, if you look at this attempt, you're going to see that it records the screen share. So screen sharing is first thing. And the second thing is the camera and microphone, right? So what you can do now, once you have done, once you have this enabled as an option, is you can start putting chunks of or both of them, screen sharing and camera microphone, over an object storage like S3, right? So as the user is giving attempt, you can start to upload chunks of it, maybe like a 10 second chunk, a five second chunk, a 20 second chunk, whatever you want. And you can start uploading this over S3. Now once this is done, what you do after the attempt is that you download these in a VM or whatever your workload looks like. 
and you create a final .mp4 file, which is like an actual mp4, right? Which you have to use. You can compress this, you can do all sort of things like that. Then one of the things that you can do is extract out frames, extract frames every five seconds, right? So let's say if that your video or if your attempt, let's say let's run some numbers. If your attempt is 30 minutes long, let's say that includes about 1800 seconds and that means if you are doing it every five seconds that is if you are having a frame every five seconds that would be roughly 360 frames right not framers just frames so if you look at a model like o4 mini which includes ability to have input of an image as a modality then you can just send these frames, you can rescale them, reduce their size and so on. You can send these frames to a model like O4 Mini, which is like 360 frames. And every single time your prompt could be, uh, you know, I'm just simplifying this, but your prompt could be a slightly more detailed. Is that, is the person cheating or not maybe like a Boolean question, but you can say something like on a score of, give a person a score of, score on 1 to 10, 10 being cheating based on person and background, etc, etc, right? So you can define some of your constraints here and then use this on a frame by frame level to figure out if the person has some headset on or, you know, if there is another person in the background or if the person is looking too much here and there. So you can prompt in a little bit of these things over here and you will have a report right a, a sort of some sort of like a 360 frame thing right and then you can crunch these numbers crunch them together you don't have to obviously take their averages because averages are misleading you can crunch them together based on any sort of algorithm that you have over here and then you generate an ai report of the recording right so you do this for your camera which is your camera over here and then you do this for your screen share also if you're feeling cool you can also just pass in the microphone input to a model that understands audio so you can see in case of gemini 2.5 pro it can accept audio images video also i mean you can technically just pass the full video uh, you don't even have to split the frames but then it becomes a lot more expensive right so you don't want to do that but you can pass an audio and it can you, you know you can do the same thing for your microphone input as well of course you can apply ai on other parts of the report as well so if the actual attempt includes some sort of code snippets that we do so coding labs assessment you can do a soft evaluation with ai but that doesn't require you to have multi-modalities, right? So you can just do it on text-to-text -text basis and it'll just work. But this is basically an architecture that you will create to create an interface where you can take contest of people. The rest of the thing generally is basic CRUD application. So it's not AI enabled anything like that, the contest part and the assessment part and so on. But the main interesting bit is that how do you define this AI to actually go ahead and split it frame by frame, make it able to understand like, you know, if you are cheating or not, and then use that maybe like in some other places as well for actually evaluating the code and the assessment that the user is doing. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. This is a small thing that we have implemented. It's still not rolled out to everyone. Um, but yeah, this would be rolled out very soon on Fermion. So that's all for this video. If you like this, if you have built something around similar thing, I would love to chat with you. Do let me know in the comments what do you think about this. That's all for this one. And I'm going to see you in the next video very soon.